Hi, I'm Tavish Whiting. I'm a social studies teacher at Lee Summit North High School in Lee Summit, Missouri. I primarily teach history and American government. And I'm also working on a little project uh, because we are in a historic moment in Missouri history right now. We are in the middle of the Missouri Bicentennial, the 200th anniversary of our state. And uh, while I was doing research on this, um, I happened upon something that I did not know existed, and I'm a little embarrassed about it, <laughs> because uh, not only is it history, and I teach history, but it's also a law. And I, as a government teacher, I know the law pretty well. And um, I knew about neither of these things. And so uh, it's got me a, a little bit fascinated. I found out that there is something in our state called Missouri Day, and it is celebrated on the third Wednesday of October. I'd never heard of this before. I mean, I, I've, I've talked to some teachers uh, here. I've talked to elementary teachers. Nobody that I've talked to knew about it, and that kind of bothers me a little bit because I did a little research on this as well. And um, it was started back, uh, well, it actually became a law in 1915, but it was started by a woman named Anna Lee Brocious Corn. And I'm going to tell you something right now, from what I've read of her, she was quite a remarkable uh, woman. And um, she was very, very um, uh, strong-headed. Uh, she wanted to get this done. She wanted to put Missouri on the map. She wanted to uh, showcase how great our state is. And so in 1915, uh, there was a law made. Um, revised Missouri Statute 9.040. And in this statute, uh, she talks about the fact that everybody in Missouri should be um, considering the contributions of our state in the mines, fields, and forests of our state. And we should also look at the achievements of the sons and daughters of Missouri uh, in the areas of commerce, uh, literature, statesmanship, science, and art. And then there's something else in the law that's kind of interesting. I, I mean, I'm, I'm fascinated by it. And it said, uh, also in other departments of activity uh, in which the state has rendered service to mankind. And I find that interesting because other departments could be a lot of different things. And so, you know, I've been thinking about this, and I've, I've been thinking, you know, Missouri Day sounds rather interesting. And we're in the middle of the Missouri Bicentennial, and I think it's important to recognize that Missouri is a great state. And when, those, when you consider those other departments, I mean, you could think of a lot of different things that weren't listed directly in the law. You could think about music and sports, and you could think about uh, the governance of our state, the Bicentennial itself, uh, our contributions to transportation, um, conservation, parks, um, national defense. There's all kinds of things that you could look at um, in Missouri that make Missouri a great state, and we have rendered service to mankind. So I have decided that I'm going to go out and I'm going to explore this law. I'm going to go around and I'm going to find out what this Missouri Day is. And so I'm going to take the law and I'm going to as it says, methodically consider all of these things. Because I'm gonna take a, I want you to take a little trip with me. It's really what I want you to do. I want you to take a little trip with me and we're gonna go around the state of Missouri and we're gonna fulfill the spirit of this law so that we can properly celebrate Missouri Day. So I hope you come with me and let's explore the state of Missouri.